Hi friends, this is Teacher April. We are going to read aloud. Look at the front page or the cover page of the book. I see letters, traffic lights, a little boy or little girl, and snow. The title of this book is The Snowy Day by Ezra Jack Kies. One winter morning, Peter woke up and looked out the window. Snow had fallen during the night. It covered everything as far as he could see. So it's a boy. After breakfast, he put on his snowsuit and ran outside. The snow was piled up very high along the street to make a path for walking. Crunch, crunch, crunch. His feet sank into the snow. He walked with his toes pointing out like this. Did you see? He walked with his toes pointing in like that. You see the difference? This is pointing out and this is pointing in. Then he dragged his feet slowly to make tracks. And he found something sticking out of the snow that made a new track. It was a stick. And a stick that was just right for smacking a snow-covered tree. Down fell the snow, plop, oops, on top of Peter's head. Oh no, look at Have you ever had that happen to you when you went to the snow and the snow just pop on your head? He thought it would be fun to join the big boys in their snowball fight. But he knew he wasn't old enough. Not yet. Mm -mm. Have you ever done this before when you went to the snow? Have the snow fight? Snowball fight. It sounds fun, right? So he make a smiling snowman and he make angels. The snowman and the angels. He pretended he was a mountain climber. He climbed up a great big tall, heaping mountain of snow. Wow, he is so brave. And slid all the way down. That is the fun part, right? When you went to the snow, what did you do? Climbing on the snow and sliding down. He picked up a handful of snow and another and still another. He packed it round and firm and put the snowball in his pocket for tomorrow. Then he went into his warm house. What do you think? He made the snowball, he put it round and firm and put it in the pocket for tomorrow. Do you think he will see it tomorrow? What do you think of the snowball in his pocket for tomorrow? He told his mother all about his adventures while she took off his wet socks. And he thought and thought and thought about them. What he was thinking? Hmm, I wonder what he was thinking. Before he got into bed, he looked in his pocket. His pocket was empty. The snowball wasn't there. 
It felt very sad. Hmm. Where did the snowball go? What happened to the snowball that he put in the pocket? What do you think? While he slept, he dreamed that the sun had melted all the snow away. But when he woke up, his dream was gone. The snow was still everywhere. New snow was falling. After breakfast, he called to his friends from across the hall and they went out together into the deep, deep snow. So, they went the snow again. Do you think this time he's going to take the snowball and put it in his pocket for tomorrow? What do you think? The end. I hope you enjoyed this story and I will see you next time. Thank you.